so uh, five top Twitter hacks. My five top Twitter hacks, actually. Um, I'm Richard, Richard Dawson. Uh, I'm a digital marketing coach. This is my weekly digital marketing update. So Twitter is an underrated source of business, in my opinion. I'm constantly surprised by how much traffic it generates to my website and, in fact, to many other my clients' websites. So something to uh, to be part of your digital marketing mix, in my view. Um, so here are my five top Twitter hacks. So number one is use hashtags. Might sound a bit obvious to some of you because hashtags started on Twitter. Um, but how many? It's amazing how many people don't use them in their tweets. Make sure you put some hashtags in your tweets. Perhaps do a bit of a search for some trending hashtags and put those in as well. Secondly, always use something visual in your tweets. So a photo, a picture, a GIF, possibly do a Twitter poll if you're doing a Twitter poll. Make sure there's something people can see in your tweet as well. That makes them more attractive than a text-only tweet. If you're posting a link either to your website or to, a, to an article, for example, make sure that that has a preview image as well so that there's something visual in that tweet. Uh, thirdly, there's interact with influencers. There are a lot of influencers on Twitter, as I'm sure you realise. And there's, often you'll find that they will actually uh, engage in conversation with you on Twitter in the way they wouldn't somewhere else. So it can be quite useful if you regularly engage with them and interact with them. Because occasionally you might just get a like, a, a comment or even a, a retweet and that can really help. Um, fourthly, uh, make sure you interact with your customers. Many of your customers will be on Twitter. It's a good idea to like, comment um, and retweet, for example. Put them on your Twitter list so that you, know, you, you can watch out for them. Um, but keep an eye out for their tweets and their Twitter activity. It's a good customer service retention tool. Good customer retention tool, I should say. It's good for customer service generally Twitter. Uh, it's used by lots of organizations for customer service, particularly messaging, but also uh, some of the larger organizations use a Twitter feed for customer service. So um, it's really important from, from that point of view as well. And fifthly, finally, um, make sure your profile's up to date. Not only in terms of the information, which is very important, make sure it's correctly branded. It's got the right branding on. Um, make sure the information is right, as I said. Make sure that the website link is accurate, which, again, I see that a lot. Somebody's put the wrong website link on, for example. Um, make, use the bio section, which is quite short in terms of space, but use that as a way of describing what it is that you do. Uh, and, again, you find that's amazingly effective at getting somebody to click on your website and come and have a look at what you do. So there's my five top Twitter hacks. If you want to get really good at Twitter or for that matter at digital marketing generally, why don't you get in touch with me? You can find me in the usual places on Twitter, of course, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, uh, and of course, if you search Richard Dawson Cheshire Digital, you'll also find me there. It's really going to help me if you would like, comment, share and subscribe wherever you see this video. Of course, I really appreciate you watching all the way through to the end and I'll see you next time.